my first uh, uh, trip into the area of location when I was a student, as a matter of fact. Uh, we learned about location and um, I wrote a paper when we were a good friend of mine and I, when we were students we wrote a paper on location. We put it together and uh, it's kind of an interesting story. Uh, we uh, showed it to one of our professors whom we learned the location from and he said, yeah, 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 but wasn't that receptive. He said, why don't you send it to this guy? He may be more interested in it. So we sent it to this guy and we had no clue who that guy was and uh, never heard from him, which is the usual thing. But then one day I get this mail and I thought that was really something from this particular guy. And I thought, well, you know, now he at least acknowledges that receipt of this thing. And uh, uh, the content of the letter were ra rather amazing which may have had something to do with me staying in the area of location uh, because it was a uh, $40 check and, um, and the notification that my paper had been accepted for publication and I didn't know that I had actually submitted it but it was accepted before I knew that I submitted it. I thought that was, this is a great field so maybe you should stay in the field. This is wonderful. So that was in my student days. and. Um, uh, actually, uh, in those days, just to finish off the story, we, uh, this was, of course, a very small sort of local, regional journal, and it was more geographical. And uh, I had never heard of it, of course. And so uh, this friend of mine and I, we went to the library and uh, looked at the journal, and we found the copy. And, uh, well, uh, this friend of mine, he actually he had to run out because he was laughing so hard. You know, we had thought that we had produced a good piece of solid science, and here was this journal in which our paper would soon dis would soon appear, and it had a piece in there which was called the North Sea, the Cradle of Cod, and I know something <laughs> else. And here goes the science, right? So that again told me where my place might be in life or something. Anyway, so uh, I have stayed in that uh, in that field ever since. Now, um, I used to work in competitive location uh, for many years and then for some reason or other, by, probably by reading uh, pieces on uh, all sorts of aspects of location, one of them uh, I seem to remember was a paper from 99 or so, uh, which I liked. It was not particularly deep, uh, the methodology was so-so. But uh, I think it uh, was a very useful paper on uh, locations and transfer stations. So I started reading up more about that and uh, so slowly got into the field. Actually, uh, it's something that we I believe uh, don't really do enough of and that is reading. A lot of my colleagues, which is uh, what I have observed over the years, really the last papers they actually read was when they were writing their, their doctoral thesis. After that they quote the old papers and then mostly themselves. Uh, and you can actually see that, you know. Uh, no, it takes an extra effort, there is no direct benefit in it, uh, but it's, it's very useful. And uh, so actually, uh, that is what I did at that time, so I started reading and getting a little bit into the subject, getting into a little bit of the engineering part of it, and so forth, and uh, so that got me into this. Sometimes, as I usually say, it's the reading of a good paper, uh, as was the case here. Sometimes it's reading some bad papers. And uh, you wonder how these people actually could have gotten a degree or could have gotten, you know, out of, out of kindergarten without being stoned or something like that. Maybe they were stoned though, but that's a different issue. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, but you read really bad things and you think you can do so much better and then you do it and then you're in the field. So uh, either way, you know, would be possible things happen. But in my case, I think it was uh, reading a fairly, fairly decent paper uh, by an author who is now uh, writing in one of my uh, collections that I put together with a very good friend of mine. So this is essentially how I got into the field.